we have to understand how cryptocurrencies are stored. The first important concept is to understand that crypto wallets have two types of keys, one public and one private. To understand how these keys work, imagine it like an email account. Your email address is similar to a wallet's public key. You can share it with others and they can send you emails or in the case of crypto, they can send you coins. The password to your email account is like your private key. It gives you access to send and receive emails. If someone else gets your password, they can send emails from your account. Similarly, if someone gets your private key, they get access to your cryptocurrency assets. On top of that, there is the seed phrase, also called the mnemonic phrase or recovery phrase. One crypto wallet gives you the opportunity to store different private keys. This means your wallet can store different sub accounts of different crypto assets. And your seed phrase is the major key to access the wallet. A mnemonic phrase or seed phrase is a set of 12, 18 or 24 words that is automatically created when you set up a new crypto wallet. These words, when arranged in a specific order, act like a key to a treasure chest, your crypto wallet. They let you and only you access your funds. Excitingly, Hack Wallet will soon introduce mnemonicless private key security, providing enhanced protection without relying on traditional mnemonic phrases. This will make it even more convenient for beginners while at the same time maintaining all security standards. Now that we understand this basic concept, let's dive deeper into the types of wallets which are available. Cryptocurrency wallets can broadly be classified into following categories. Hot wallets, cold wallets, custodial wallets, and even non-custodial wallets. Let's begin with the concept of custodial and non-custodial wallets. A custodial wallet is similar to a bank account. When you deposit your money into the bank, the bank is responsible for keeping it safe. The same goes for a custodial wallet. Here, a third party company, like an exchange, keeps your cryptocurrency safe for you. While it may seem convenient, remember that you're trusting someone else with your keys. If the bank gets robbed, your cryptocurrencies are at risk. On the other hand, a non-custodial wallet is like a home safe where you keep your savings. Here, you're responsible for your money. You control your keys, no one else has access, and you can move your cryptocurrencies as you please. It gives you full control over your assets, but also the responsibility to keep your keys, which is the combination to the safe secure. In the world of crypto, understanding the difference between these two types of wallets is crucial to make the best decision for your financial security. Now let's look at hot wallets. Hot wallets are similar to checking accounts at your local bank. These wallets are online and connected to the internet, making them more accessible and convenient for daily transactions. If you need to send or receive crypto quickly, hot wallets are your go-to option. They can be accessed through different platforms, such as mobile apps, desktop software, or even web-based browsers. However, this convenience comes with a trade-off in terms of security. Since hot wallets are always connected to the internet, they are more vulnerable to hacking attempts. You can think of a hot wallet like carrying cash in your pocket. It's convenient for day-to-day -day transactions, but you wouldn't want to carry your life savings with you everywhere you go. Let's explore cold wallets now. Cold wallets, on the other hand, are more like safety deposit boxes. These wallets are not connected to the internet, making them far more secure. If you have a significant amount of crypto that you don't plan to spend anytime soon, a cold wallet might be the better option for you. Cold wallets store your private keys on something physical, which is a physical device somewhat like a USB drive, designed to securely store your private key. However, because they are not connected to the internet, they are not as convenient as hot wallets when it comes to transacting. You make a transaction, you need to connect your cold wallet to a computer and manually enter your private key. So in conclusion, while hot wallets can be either custodial or non-custodial, cold wallets are always non-custodial, giving you the highest level of control and security for your crypto assets. Our very own Huck Wallet is a non-custodial hot wallet, giving you highest convenience combined with the greatest possible amount of security available. The truth about crypto wallets. The choice between a hot and a cold wallet often comes down to the trade-off between convenience and security. If you're transacting frequently, a hot wallet might be the better option for you. But if you're storing large amounts of crypto as an investment, a cold wallet provides stronger security. 
In the next lesson, we'll dive deeper into how to store your cryptocurrency securely using these wallets. We'll look at the best practices and precautions to keep your digital assets safe. Stay tuned.